Hello friends, how are you doing? I hope that you're having a wonderful day today. I am doing a fall book haul, which is fun. I feel like I haven't done a book haul on my channel in a very, very long time. I haven't really been buying books, but I have accumulated quite a bit over the past couple months, I'd say three to four months or so. Um, some of these are birthday presents and some of them I just wanted to pick up and I couldn't help it. It was like, you're on a book buying ban and places like Target, by the way, shout out to Target for having so many sales and like buy two, get one free, buy one, get one 50% off. I somehow refrained so much from buying books. I did one of the buy one, get one 50% off from that sale, but that was it. I was like, I need to just buy two and then be done with it and not look at the Target website, not go into the Target book section. Uh, somehow I refrained from buying a lot because it could have been quite costly. <laughs> but yeah, so I got some from Target. I got a couple from Amazon for my birthday and then um, I got, I think, one of these from Barnes & Noble a couple months ago. I think if you if you watch any of my videos from a previous uh, Come to the Bookstore with me, um, I got it then. Also, I went to a local pumpkin farm. I'll probably put it in this. Uh, you've probably seen it already. <laughs> um, I'm thinking I'm either going to put it in the beginning of this video or after probably before, so you've seen it already. It's a cute little local pumpkin farm. I wanted to go as soon as it opened up, but of course I ended up going on one of the last days. And the day that I decided to go with my mom, we walk in and two minutes into us uh, going to the pumpkin farm, it starts downpouring. So I got a little bit of footage. I wanted to do like a whole vlog of the pumpkin farm, but I only got as much as I could before the rain hit. So I hope that you enjoyed the little clips of the pumpkin farm. It's super cute and adorable. So fun to do during the fall time. A ton of activities and a maze and they have cider and donuts, which I ended up getting. But I hope that you enjoyed a little bit of what I ended up being able to film before the rain hit. So now to get into the actual book haul. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, got, got some books. First, I'm going to talk about the one that I ended up showing in my vlog in case you haven't seen that video of going to the bookstore. I got Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbert and honestly, I don't know if I mentioned this in the bookstore vlog, but I went in really wanting a rom-com and when I went into my Barnes & Noble, the rom-com table that was there like a couple weeks before was gone. So I think one of the booksellers could kind of tell I was like not knowing what to do because I specifically went in looking for a rom-com from that table. A bookseller came up, she asked me how I was doing, what I was looking for, and I was like, an enemies to lovers rom-com. And she literally placed this in my hands, which I know is a selling tactic with Barnes & Noble or like anything in general. If you put a product in someone's hands, it's kind of hard, at least for me, to say no or put it down because I would just feel way too bad putting down a suggestion. So I know it's a selling tactic and yes, I fell for it but it's okay because I really actually did want to pick up this book at some point that just encouraged me to pick it up at that very moment <laughs> and um yeah so she put it in my hands and said you need to read this I love it everyone here loves it and I was like I need to read it yes I'm gonna go buy it right now so I ended up buying this book and I'm really excited because like I said I love rom-coms enemies to lovers is my top favorite trope and I know that this one is very loved and I'm so excited to read this one but I honestly don't know too much about it besides the fact that everyone loves this. Chloe Brown, a chronically ill computer geek with a goal, a plan, and a list. After almost but not quite dying, she comes up with seven directives to help her get a life and she already completed the first, finally moving out of her glamorous family mansion, the next items. Enjoy a drunken night out, ride a motorcycle, go camping, have meaningless but thoroughly enjoyable sex, travel the world with nothing but hand luggage, and do something bad. Bad. And then, of course, she meets um, a handyman with tattoos 
who has a motorcycle, more sex appeal than 10,000 Hollywood heartthrobs, and it is an artist who paints at night and hides his work in the light of day. So, I don't know. Just all of that sounds interesting to me, and I cannot wait to read this book. And I know that there's a couple other ones as well, so I just need to read this one really soon, but yeah. First book, and then the next book that I got, I don't know if I mentioned this, I bought this quite a couple months back. But I don't know if I showed it to you guys, so I kind of wanted to show it now. But I ended up ordering From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And I just see this book everywhere, specifically on Book Talk. And I know a lot of people really love this one. It was like, you know what? It sounds interesting. It's a fantasy one. It's been a while since I've really fell deep into love with a fantasy series. So I'm hoping to really like this one. Fingers crossed. I don't know. I tried reading it. I think I only got like two chapters in, but I just wasn't in a fantasy mood. I am in a rom-com mood and um, I hope to pick this up when I am in that big thick fantasy mood so and then again if you uh haven't seen the video where i went like come target book shopping with me i ended up in that trip getting a good girl's guide to murder by holly jackson because one of my very best friends abigail from abigail's cup of tea i know she really loved this one so we have similar tastes and i was like you know what it sounds right up my alley i need to pick it up and oh my goodness i'm so glad that i did i am reading it now actually i'm on page 200 and i i'm obsessed i love it <laughs> it is so good i don't know why it took me so long to pick this book up but i'm glad i did and i love it it's gonna be five out of five stars i am just so drawn in and captivated by the story it's so good sorry i think my lens is dirty I hope it wasn't dirty this whole time. I'm so sorry if it was dirty this whole time. Our main character, Pip, is a senior in high school. She is doing a senior final project on a murder from two kids that happened to be at her high school five years earlier to her being a senior. Pip wants to discover what actually happened, who the murderer truly is. But I'm absolutely loving the story. I especially love how it's being told, how it's written, everything about it. I just love it. So drawn into the story and the characters and what happens because still currently how I am reading right now, I don't know what happens what happened to Andy, what happened to Sal, and I have my guesses, but I don't know yet, and I can't wait to find out what happens in this book. All right, then I'm gonna go into what I got at Target. It was two books, but two books that I'm very excited for, so. First up, I did the buy one, get one 50% off, and the first one is one that I have been eyeing. Every single time I walk into Target, and I posted a lot of photos of it. <laughs> and that is Life's Too Short by Abby Jimenez. And so drawn in by the cover. I don't know, those bright, vibrant, colorful rom-com covers with like the cartoon drawings and a dog. Let me just do a close-up. How, how cute is that, right? So, so cute. This cover gets me every time that I'm in Target or I see this online or anything. But yeah, life's too short. I I needed to pick this up. So I was like, perfect. It's a sale. I was going to get it anyways. No way. I had no idea. Okay, the author of this is a Food Network winner, founder of Nadia Cakes Bakeries, loves a good romance, coffee, doglets, and not leaving the house. Like, hello, best friend. <laughs> that sounds like me and... I think we would be best friends so um, I can't wait to read this book even more now that I have similar tastes to the author I love the Food Network too so like that's a plus so our main character Vanessa Price quits her job to pursue her dream of traveling the globe she wasn't expecting to gain millions of YouTube followers who shared her journey of seizing every moment for her living each day to its fullest isn't just a motto her mother and sister never saw the age of 30, and Vanessa doesn't want to take anything for granted. That's very sad. But her half-sister suddenly leaves Vanessa in custody of her baby daughter. Life goes from daily adventure to the next level bad. The last person Vanessa expects to show up offering help is the hot lawyer next door, Adrian Copeland. 
apparently. Uh, she barely knows him, but he is a secret baby tamer, or that she'd be spending a whole lot of time with him and his chihuahua. <laughs> I'm assuming it's this little cutie over here. I think it just sounds really interesting, and I hope that I enjoy this. I probably will, and I can't wait to read this. I have to take these 20% off stickers. Uh, does anyone know how to get the stickiness off from when you take the stickers off? Because I don't really know and I would greatly appreciate it because my good girls guide, the stickiness is still on there and I just, I don't, I don't know how to take it off. The second book that I got from that deal is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I am so incredibly excited to pick this up, to read it. I love Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I love her writing. I read the Natural series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and it is still some of my favorite series that I've ever read. It's very near and dear to my heart. I love it, will forever love it, and highly recommend, especially if you have already read like The Inheritance Games and you really love uh, the writing style and just how everything is told. Highly, highly, highly recommend reading the natural series also if you are a criminal minds fan read the natural series because it's so good it's it's basically like criminal minds but in younger form and these kids are very talented and gifted in their own ways and they're finding out who the murderer is of these murders and it's just so good actually so one two yeah so there's four in the natural series. I've read three out of the four. I haven't read the last one yet because I don't want the series to end, but the first three, amazing. So I can't speak on the fourth one because I haven't read it yet, but highly recommend the natural series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes because it is fantastic. So good. Also trying to recommend it because I want more people to talk about it with because I don't know too many people that have read the natural series. So if you've read it, let me know down below. Let's uh, geek out about it together or like send me a message. Or if you're planning on read it, let me know because I want to talk about it with you. So yeah, had to pick this up. I already know I'm gonna love this because I loved every single other book that I've read by Jennifer. A billionaire Tobias Hawthorne dies and leaves his entire fortune, the only catch. Um, Avery must move into his sprawling mansion full of secret passages, riddles, and codes. Unfortunately for Avery, the Hawthorne house is occupied by the family that was just disinherited. This includes the four Hawthorne grandsons, dangerous man magnetic boys who grew up with every expectation that one day they would inherit the billions. The heir, a parent, Grayson, is convinced that Avery is a con woman and he's determined to take her down, but his brother, Jameson, views her as their grandfather's last hurrah, a twisted riddle, a puzzle to be solved. Caught in a world of wealth and privilege, with danger in every turn, Avery will have to play the game herself just to survive. I'm obsessed already, and I haven't even read it yet, but cannot wait for this. <sighs> I'm so excited. If you couldn't tell, over the moon about this book. Ooh, I honestly don't remember. <gasps> yeah. I totally okay <gasps> yes okay are you ready for another rom-com because I am <laughs> this is another one I have been eyeing for a very long time I feel like I'm absolutely gonna love this one and that is the Spanish love deception by Elena Omas and again these covers get me I I love and adore them and then of course what it's about also always intrigues me pretending to be in love never tasted better a wedding a trip to spain the most infuriating man in three days of pretending in other words a plan that will never work another enemies to lovers rom-com in spain so excited for this one in spain for a wedding so it's like enemies to lovers and also fake dating at the same time which is like everything <laughs> You have two awesome tropes in one, fake dating enemies to lovers, like you can't get much better than that, plus a wedding in Spain, so we travel, and yes, so I'm very excited for this one. It's honestly thicker than I thought it would be and heavier, but that just means more rom-com goodness, and I am all there for that, so yeah, super excited for the Spanish love deception. I can't wait. Also, while I'm opening up this package, let me know if you have bought any books recently in the comments down below and what those books were. Have you found any 
new favorites and all that did you end up getting a ton of books from that target sale because that sale was so good but i had to refrain from buying a lot all right next package i think there's only one book in this there might be two i don't know it is wicked like a wildfire by lena popovic and how gorgeous is this cover i fell in love with the cover i bought this for the sweater weather readathon and I believe this was gonna be for the prompt um, for read a book with a fall word in the title. And Wicked always reminds me of like the fall Halloween time with so many witch movies and stuff. Wicked. But unfortunately, the sweater weather readathon is over and I ended up not finishing any books. I'm almost finished with uh, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which was on my TBR. Yeah, it was a rough week for reading for me, so I ended up not being able to read any books for the readathon, which I was super sad. But yeah, I bought this for the readathon, but also it's really beautiful and sounds super interesting. So I'm going to read this at some point. And it is just a magical story. It's a duology, I believe. There's two books in this, which both the covers look gorgeous. And um, yeah, a magical family about a 17-year-old named Iris who sees flowers as fractals and turns her kaleidoscope visions into glasswork. Her twin sister Melina interprets moods as magic and their cold distant mother Jasmina bakes scenery into decadent treats. So it's about a magical family. We have the mother and the two daughters. They are twin sisters and each of them have like a different magical ability and the story is about power of love, death, and magic and the many faces of beauty. All right, and the last box that I have, it's even more gorgeous in person. So I saw this at Target, but I ended up not picking it up because there's just one copy left and it was damaged. So my fiance got it for me for my birthday off Amazon. That's actually what all the, uh, that's what all the Amazon books are, was for my fiance for my birthday. So thanks. He doesn't watch my videos, but I still wanted to say thank you. Oh my goodness, is it absolutely gorgeous. I uh, I know the second one just came out too, so I have to order that one. But it is this beautiful, gorgeous, so many things to say about this. But it's the Mina Lima edition of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. And like I said, the second one just came out too, so I have to order that one but it's just unbelievably gorgeous. There's so many things in this book and uh, I just, you can't get much better. Ooh, hello. Oof. Oh, you can't get much better than this book. And everything is designed and illustrated by Mina Lima who does create all the creations and the beautiful artwork and everything that you see that is just stunning in Harry Potter. I have actually met the designers behind Mina Lima, so I really wanted to support them because they are wonderful people. I had such a pleasure meeting them in Orlando, Florida at Universal Studios. Uh, Universal Orlando Studios used to do something called a celebration of Harry Potter where they had guests and Harry Potter actors come and just like this huge massive event inside of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Designers, Mina Lima, were there and they are just the loveliest people. Had such a pleasure to meet them. They are talented, their artwork is just beautiful and so many amazing things to say about Mina Lima. But yeah, I ended up getting the Marauders map signed by them, which I have on my shelf up there. But yeah, so I had to pick up the illustrated Mina Lima edition and it is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm so excited to have this in my collection and I need to pick up the second. So the last book to my haul is another book that I got for the Sweater Weather Readathon but I wanted it in my collection anyways, and that is Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. It, I listened to the audiobook of this a couple years back, and I absolutely loved it, but honestly, I can't remember a thing about this book except the fact that I loved it when I listened to the audiobook. So I wanted to pick up the physical copy and reread this and then continue on with the series because, like I said, I loved it, but I just can't remember why I loved it now. <laughs> Need to reread this in the physical form and remember why I loved it and continue on with the series. So that is it for my fall book haul. I hope that you enjoyed this haul video 
and let me know if you picked up any books recently what those books are in the comments down below if you have read or have bought any of the books that i mentioned let me know and yeah so if you made it this far in the video thank you so very much for watching i appreciate you and i hope that you have a magical wonderful day and i will see you all in my next video